Peppa. I've hurt my knee. <whistles> Madam Gazelle, Peppa has fallen over. You've just grazed your knee, Peppa. First, Madame Gazelle cleans Peppa's knee. Then she puts a plaster on it. Does that feel any better? Yes, thank you. Now, children, you may have noticed that Pedro Pony isn't here today. Is he late again? No, Susie. Pedro is in hospital. Ooh. And today we are going to visit him. This is the hospital. Peppa and her friends have come to visit Pedro Pony. Remember, children, stay close to me. I don't want you getting lost. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Excuse me, Mr. Bull. Which way is the children's ward? Down the steps, double doors, right, left, right, along the corridor, up the stairs, third on your left. Ah. Or you could just take the left. <laughs> <laughs> Children's ward! <laughs> Pedro will be asleep. Sick people do a lot of sleeping. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. Why aren't you asleep? You don't look sick. I broke my leg and they put it in this plaster cast. Wow! The plaster cast helps Pedro's leg get better. I graze my knee and I got a plaster too. Wow! Do you want to draw on my plaster cast? Yes, please. The children are all doing drawings on Pedro's plaster cast. I'm drawing a football. I've drawn some flowers. Mr Potato. A carrot. And I've drawn a muddy puddle. Wow! Thanks, everyone. You can draw on my plaster too. OK, I'll draw a little flower. Thank you, Pedro. Careful, or you might trip and fall. Ow! My arm! Oh dear, Peppa has tripped and bumped her arm. Hmm, I think we should call Dr Brown Bear. Dr Brown Bear speaking. A bumped arm, you say? And on Christmas Day, I'll be right there. So, Peppa, bumped your arm, have you? Yes. Can you wiggle your fingers? That's very good. But just to be safe, we'll take a trip to the hospital. This is the hospital. Miss Rabbit is the nurse. Who's next? <sighs> that will be me. Wait, we have a sick child. Oh, a child. A child, yes. That's more important than me. Miss Rabbit will take you from here, Peppa. Yes, just follow me, please. Oh, Miss Rabbit, the hospital is all Christmassy. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Hello, Peppa. Oh, hello, Pedro. Why are you here? I bumped my arm. I banged my leg and I got a sticker. Wow! Sit yourself down and tell me where it hurts. Here, on my arm. Can you wiggle your fingers? A little bit. Can you say banana? Banana? That was a joke, to make you feel relaxed. <laughs> Do you feel relaxed? Yes. Good. We just need to take a picture of your arm with the x-ray. Ooh, what's the x-ray? It shows us the bones inside your body. How does it work? It uses a cathode and anode controlled beam of electromagnetic... It's magic! Ma Ooh! The x-ray shows your arm will be fine, Peppa. And for being so brave, you get a sticker. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Daddy Pig is taking the stabilisers off Peppa's bicycle. Are you sure you want to ride without stabilisers? Yes. You've never done it before. I can do it. I can, I can. Ah. <laughs> it's not funny. Riding without stabilizers is not easy. Would you like some help, Peppa? Yes, please, Daddy. All right. Ready, steady, go! Don't let go, Daddy. Don't worry, I've got you. You're doing really well, Pepper. Hold on, Daddy. 
<laughs> Just keep pedalling. Peppa is riding on her own without stabilizers. Daddy, you let go. <laughs> You've been cycling on your own for ages. Have I? You're really very good at it. Am I? Oh, I can do it. Look at me, look at me. I can ride my bike properly. <coughs> Daddy, Susie, Rebecca, look. I don't need my stabilizers anymore. <coughs> look at me. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Race you to Daddy's pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, look out! My pumpkin! I'm going to win! Peppa isn't looking where she's going. <laughs> oh, dear. Peppa has squashed Daddy Pig's pumpkin. Sorry I squashed your pumpkin, Daddy. Never mind the pumpkin. The important thing is that you are OK. In future, you really must look where you are going. I promise I will, Daddy. Good. Anyway, now the pumpkin is broken, I can make it into pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie! Hello. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Auntie. I can't stop long. I've got lots of work to do today. I've got the supermarket checkout, the ice cream stall and the bus to drive. See you later then, sister. Bye, sister. Whoops! Whoa! Miss Rabbit has tripped over one of Richard's toys. Oh, my ankle. I can still hop to work. No. Oh, uh, you oh, stay here and get better. But I've got so much work to do. I'll do your work for you. Which job is first? The supermarket. OK. Rebecca, look after your auntie. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has arrived at the supermarket. Thank goodness you're here, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit is ill. I'll be doing her job today. Are you not Miss Rabbit? No, I'm her sister, Mummy Rabbit. Is this where I sit? Uh, yes. Have you ever worked a checkout before? No. How much is this? Oh, I don't know. I've got a voucher. Do you take book tokens? Can I pay with a card? Um... Susie Sheep is dressed up in her nurse's costume. Don't worry, I'm only a pretend nurse. Stick your tongue out and say, ah. Ah. Rebecca Rabbit's house. Who's speaking, please? It's Mummy Rabbit. Is everything OK? Yes. Good, because this job is going to take me all day. What about Miss Rabbit's other jobs? We'll need more help. <laughs> Uh, Miss Rabbit's ice cream stall. Daddy, why are you buying an ice cream? Oh, Pepper, I was on the way to the gym when I thought an ice cream would be nice. Miss Rabbit is ill. You've got to sell the ice cream today. Oh, oh, I'm an expert at ice cream. <laughs> What's it like out there, Daddy Pig? Is there any mud? Um, a little bit of mud, yes. Oh, my goodness. Wow! So much mud! <laughs> yes, but it does say it can get a tiny bit muddy here sometimes. A tiny bit muddy? I've never seen so much mud in all my life. It's brilliant! Yes, <laughs> and we've got a whole day at the festival ahead of us. At the Children's Festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. Hmm. Let's start with making sandcastles. Yippee! Sandcastles! <laughs> this is the sandcastle area. Who likes making sandcastles? Yay! <laughs> now, you might have noticed it's been raining. So instead of sandcastles, we're making mud castles. Hooray! First, fill your buckets with mud. <laughs> Turn your buckets over. Give them a tap. Lift your buckets. Mud castles. I like mud castles. Mud castles are the best. 
Well done, Miss Rabbit. How did you ever come up with the idea for mud castles? Simple. It rains every year, so we always make mud castles. Ah. So what do we want to do next? How about painting pictures? Yay! This is the painting tent. <laughs> Today, we're going to paint pictures. And instead of paint, we're using mud. Ooh. We've got lots of brown mud and greenish mud. I even found some blue mud this morning. Hmm, what's best to... They're on their way! Over! I see them coming! Over! <laughs> Very good breaking, everyone. Are you ready for Madame Gazelle? Over. Send her down. Over. Uh, I don't think I need to do this. I am the teacher and I wasn't Off supposed to go. be taught. Ooh! Ears and eyes open. Ears and eyes open. Yes. This is fun. Ring your bell. Oh, yes. Ring bell. Breaks! Oh, yes! Breaks! Well done! And that's how to ride your bicycles safely. Children, thank the police for taking time off from their important work to talk to us today. Thank you! You're very welcome. When I grow up, I want to be a policeman. And what is it about being a policeman that you like? I like blowing whistles. <whistles> Very good. But of course, there's more to being a police officer than blowing whistles. Oh, yes. We're always very busy. We do lots of very important things, like... Uh... The police solve mysteries and drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, woo! Spot on, Freddy. Right, we really must be on our way. And remember, always keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> oh! Who put that tree there? Yes, it's not a safe place to put a tree. I'll make a note. Dangerous tree on public highway. Ho, oh, oh. ho. You see, children, a police officer's work is never done. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Peppa loves the police. Everyone loves the police. <laughs> Always look where you're going. Then... Oh. Dr. Brown Bear is rolling down the hill. Ow, 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 ow. He rolled through a prickly bush. Ow, ow, ow. He hit a tree. Ow, ow, ow. And apples fell on his head. Oh. oh, my goodness. Call an ambulance. The ambulance is here. Oh, yes. Everyone into the ambulance. <laughs> don't worry, Dr. Brown Bear. We are here to make you better. Uh, thank you, but I don't think I need your help. I am the doctor, remember? Yes, but we must do all the checks. I really don't think this is... Not another word. Children, what do we do first? Check he's awake. Well done, Pepper. Are you awake, Doctor? Yes. Good. He is awake. This is all very nice of you, but Who I... Who knows what to do next? We ask him his name. Yes, but in this case, it's what not... What is your name? Dr. Brown Bear. Now we ask him what happened. You saw what happened. I tripped over that ball and fell down the hill. That was a bit silly now, wasn't it? Which bit is hurting? Every bit is hurting. Where is it hurting most? In my arm and my leg and here on my head. We just need to bandage him up. <laughs> because you have been such a brave doctor, you get a sticker. Oh. Have a sticker! Have a sticker. Have a sticker. Oh. Children, say Thank you to Dr. Brown Bear for giving us such a wonderful demonstration of how the ambulance works. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. It was my pleasure. <laughs> Look, it 
What's in that little tree? Hmm. I'll just climb up and get it. The tree is much too thin to take your weight, Daddy Pig. So, how can we get George's hat? Simple. I'll give the tree a little shake. Huh. Maybe if I shake it a bit harder. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> I thought that sort of thing only happened to me. It's not funny. It is a bit funny, Mummy. I suppose it is a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> Where's George's hat? It's on your head. <laughs> Here's your hat, George. Hold on to it this time. <laughs> the wind is blowing all the leaves off the trees. Look at me! I'm leaning into the wind. <laughs> the wind is strong enough to hold Pepper up. <laughs> The wind is strong enough to hold George up. Daddy, have a go. Uh, I'm a bit too heavy. Come on, Daddy. It's really fun. Oh, all right. The wind is strong enough to hold up Daddy Pig. <laughs> I say, this is fun. Come on, Mummy Pig, give it a try. But if the wind stops, I'll fall over. <laughs> the wind won't just stop. The wind has stopped. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. It is a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> now the wind has stopped, what can we do? Hmm, what's your favourite game? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. But there aren't any puddles, just lots of boring dry leaves. And what do you do with dry leaves? I don't know. Jump up and down in them. Daddy Pig loves jumping up and down in leaves. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in leaves. <laughs> Everyone loves jumping up and down in leaves. <laughs> don't worry, George. Daddy will get the kite down. Hooray! <laughs> uh, yes. Careful! There's a big muddy puddle. Pepper and George love to jump in muddy puddles. Can we jump in the puddle? Please? <laughs> no, I don't want you covered in mud. Oh. Stand back, children. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Please be careful. <laughs> Just a bit further, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you are much too heavy for that branch. Nonsense. I know exactly how heavy I am. There. Hooray! Daddy Pig has rescued the kite. Whoa! Oh, dear. Everyone is covered in mud. <laughs> it's only mud. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Daddy Pig hasn't hurt himself. And the kite is out of the tree. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, now that we're all muddy, can we jump in the puddle? I suppose so. After all, you can't get any muddier. <laughs> And I think Daddy Pig is going to be doing the washing. Oh. <laughs> Pepper and George love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. What's that noise? It's coming from the tree. It's Tiddles the tortoise. Naughty Tiddles, come down at once. I can shake the tree to get Tiddles down. Is that a good idea, Pedro? Don't worry, I am Super Pedro. Ow! Oh dear, what has happened? Tiddles fell on Pedro's nose. My nose hurts. Poor Pedro. I will call for the doctor. Dr Brown Bear speaking. 
A bumped nose, you say? I'll be right there. Hello. Where is the patient? Here. My nose hurts. I see. Say, ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... You need a plaster. There. That will make it better. Hooray! My glasses don't work. Pedro's glasses are all muddy. Oh, Dr. Brown Bear, can you fix Pedro's glasses? No, I can't. You'll need an optician for that. An optician is a doctor who knows about glasses. My daddy's an optician. Hello, Dr. Pony speaking. A pair of glasses not working, you say? I'm on my way. Hello, Daddy. Hello, son. What seems to be the problem? My glasses aren't working. Can you read this chart? No, my glasses aren't working. Why, these glasses just need a good clean. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> yes. Thank you, Daddy. Dr. Pony has fixed Pedro's glasses. Hooray! Thank you, doctors. Everything is back to normal. Should I practice that? Practice what? Jumping. Why not? There. You're a natural. Is that it? Yes. You are now fully trained. Hooray! All aboard! I'm still a tiny bit worried about this jump, Daddy Pig. It's OK, Mummy Pig. I'll come up in the plane with you. Good luck, Mummy! Don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, you've got a parachute. Yes, Daddy Pig. Oh, we are a long way from the ground! Oh, oh dear! Oh. Daddy Pig has fallen out of the plane! There she goes! No, wait! That's Daddy Pig! Oh. Wait for me, Daddy Pig! Whee! Mummy Pig has jumped! She is going to rescue Daddy Pig! Oh. Got you! Oh, she's got him! Hooray! My mummy to the rescue! Thank you for saving me, Mummy Pig! Oh, Teddy Pig, you're starting to slip! Mr Bull has just finished mending the school roof. Lovely job! It'll last for years! I can't hold on! Ah! Daddy! <laughs> Is Daddy Pig all right? Oh, oh, I'm fine. Good, because you'll need to do that parachute jump again. What? To raise the money to fix this new hole in the school roof. Oh, all right. Hooray for Daddy Pig! <laughs> What's that, Teddy? You want to jump in muddy puddles too? OK! Splash, splash, splash! Oops! Pepper has slipped and fallen on Teddy. Sorry, I sat on you, Teddy. Are you all having fun? Yes! Yes, yes Mummy Pig! Oh, Teddy, you look a bit under the weather. What do you mean? Teddy is a bit muddy. Oh! I took Penguin to the doll hospital and now he's as good as new. What's a doll hospital? It's where dolls go to get better. They get washed, filled up with stuffing and even get new voices. You are my best friend. Susie. I love you a lot. Susie. Ooh. Mummy, can we take Teddy to the doll hospital, please? What a good idea. This is the doll hospital. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Peppa. Welcome to the doll hospital, where we turn dolls like this into dolls like this. Ooh. Ooh. Have you got a sick dolly? Yes. What is it? A mouse or a dog? It's a bear. Well, we have got our work cut out, haven't we? Ah, and a dinosaur. Are you booking them both in? 
Yes, please. OK. So tell me, little bear, what have you been doing to get so poorly? Teddy has been rolling down hills, jumping in muddy puddles and being sat on. It's no wonder you're not looking your best. There'll be no more rolling down hills, jumping in muddy puddles or being sat on once I've finished with you. But Teddy likes doing those things. You do seem a bit floppy. Nothing some extra stuffing won't fix. What do you mean? Look, this elephant is a bit sad, but he just needs more stuffing. Teddy likes being floppy. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> oh, my goodness! We're never going to get them out! There's only one thing for it! I'll have to go in! Good luck! Ooh. <sighs> ah! I'm stuck! Help! Don't worry, I'm coming in! I'm nearly there! Oh no, I'm stuck too! Help! Hello! Mr Elephant has come to collect Edmund Elephant. Mr Elephant! Help! We're stuck! <laughs> no problem, ladies. I'll get you out. No, don't! You'll get stuck! It's a trap! Ah! I'm stuck! <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper and Susie have come to collect George. <laughs> ah, what good little children you are. Uh, where are your parents? <gasps> We're, We're stuck! Ho, oh, oh, ho! That usually happens to me! That is going to happen to me, isn't it? I'm going to go in there and get stuck. Me and Susie can go in. We're smaller. That's kind of you both, but it is my job. As a grown-up, I must do this. But, Daddy! Don't worry, Peppa. If I get stuck, I will ring for the rescue services. Ah, yes, I'm stuck. Lucky I've got my phone. Hello, rescue service. Oh, you're in here too. Yes, I'm a bit tied up at the moment. So there's no one to rescue us. We're here, Daddy. We will rescue the grown-ups. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> 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 that tickles. <laughs> uh, hey! Thank you, Pepper and Susie, for rescuing us. Hip hip! Hooray! Hooray! Now we can all go home. <laughs> the little ones have gone back inside. Pepper, can you bring the little ones out now? Yes, Daddy. But we might have to play a bit first. <laughs> Pepper and Susie love the soft play centre. Everyone loves the soft play centre. Uh, perhaps I had better help. No, Grandpa, I can do it. Whoops. <laughs> oh dear. Pepper is covered in mud. I see two little piggies who need a bath. <laughs> George's hat is on top of some reeds in the pond. Lucky for us, your hat is still clean, George. But how do we get it? This is a job for a grown-up. Hmm, I will need a stick. Don't fall in, Grandpa. I know what I'm doing, Peppa. <laughs> I can reach it! I see a big piggy who needs a bath. <laughs> Grandpa Pig, what on earth are you doing? I'm having a cup of tea. No, you're not. Of course I'm not. That was a joke. It is perfectly clear to see that I have fallen into the pond. That was a silly thing to do. Pepper, George, you're both covered in mud too. We were trying to get George's hat back, Granny. Where is George's hat anyway? It's flying in the sky. <laughs> I will get George's hat back and then you can all get cleaned up. Be careful. 
careful, Granny. I would use a stick. Thank you, everyone, but it's perfectly fine. I've got boots on. If you walk on that manure, you will sink. Hush, Grandpa. I have no intention of sinking. I can reach it. Got it. Ah! Oh, dear. Granny Pig is covered in manure. Ooh, smelly Granny Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig has come to pick up Pepper and George. Hello. Grandpa Pig, I thought you promised not to let the children get muddy. I think you will find we promised not to let George's hat get muddy. And it's not muddy. It's perfectly clean. <laughs> yes, I can see. The only clean thing around here is George's woolly hat. <laughs> <laughs> It is so cold, the puddle has turned to ice. It is very slippery. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> Here are Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. Oh, good! A muddy puddle. Daddy Pig loves jumping in muddy puddles. Stop, Daddy! <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> that was close. Lucky I've got such a good sense of balance. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy! The puddles are icy today. We can't jump in them. Never mind. Let's feed some bread to the ducks. Hooray! <laughs> Pepper and George love feeding the ducks. <laughs> Hello, ducks. We've got some bread for you. The ducks like bread. <laughs> oh! It is so cold, the pond has frozen to ice. <laughs> the ice is very slippery. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for laughing, Mrs. Duck, but it did look quite funny. <laughs> it is starting to snow. Snow! <laughs> Pepper and George love snow. George, let's catch snowflakes. <laughs> Pepper and George are catching snowflakes. Ooh. George has caught a snowflake. <laughs> Pepper has caught a snowflake. Ooh. <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep on her toboggan. Whee! <laughs> Hello, Pepper. Wow! Susie, that looks fun. <laughs> We're all tobogganing on the big hill. There's lots of snow there. <laughs> Shall we climb up the big hill and watch the tobogganing? Yes, please. Look, Mummy, it's Miss Rabbit. I didn't know you had a job here, Miss Rabbit. Excusez-moi, I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Oh, I'm sorry. Souvenirs, get your little Eiffel Towers here. The real Eiffel Tower is really big. Can we climb up it? Um, it looks a bit high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. <laughs> Do not worry, Mr. Pig. We take the elevator. Going up. <laughs> I'm glad that's over. Oh, no. That is just the first stage. Now we must climb the steps. Ooh, ooh. If you feel dizzy, Daddy Pig, just close your eyes. OK. This is as high as we can go as visitors. Let's look at the view. Ooh! These steps are going on forever. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig is not looking where he is going. He is climbing up and up and up. What a wonderful view of Paris. It's lovely. Yes. What do you think, Mr. Pig? Mr. Pig? Where is everybody? Ooh. Daddy Pig is at the very top of the Eiffel Tower. Hang on, Daddy Pig. Ah. I must call for the rescue services. Thank goodness you're here, Miss Rabbit. I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I am going to get you down. 
Ah, I'm going even higher. What can you see, Daddy? I can see everything. <laughs> My Daddy came to Paris and he saw everything. <laughs> George is still learning how to scooter. He is a bit worried. <laughs> George, come on! <laughs> What's the matter, George? <laughs> Shall I teach you how to scooter? <laughs> OK, you hold on to the handlebars like this with both hands. Now stand on the scooter. Oh. No, George. Stand on the scooter with one foot. Good. <laughs> now push off with the other foot. Like this. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> George, you're doing it. <laughs> George has learned to scooter. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, George. That's enough scootering for now. It's time to go to playgroup. Oh, we've only just started scootering. <laughs> Can we ride our scooters to playgroup, Daddy? Good idea. We could do with the exercise. Hooray! Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Wait for me. See you later, <laughs> Mummy Pig. See you later. <laughs> Pepper and George are riding their scooters to playgroup. <laughs> Not so fast! <laughs> Come on, Daddy! Daddy can't keep up! <laughs> Wait for me! <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived at playground. Bye-bye, <laughs> Daddy! Bye-bye! <laughs> Bye! Oh, now I'm going to have to walk back home. What I need are some wheels. Hang on, I've got wheels. Whee! And what do we need to make a muddy puddle? Dirt and water. Dirt and water. Mix them together to make a muddy puddle. Pepper, please test the puddle. This puddle is too dry. Let's add some more water. Please jump again, Peppa. This puddle is just right. Nice and muddy. <laughs> and making muddy puddles is a bit like making concrete. Concrete is what we're using to make your new playground. It starts off wet and soft like mud, then it sets and goes hard forever. Ooh. Right now, it is gloopy like custard. Let me show you. You see, it's very soft. But who can tell me what's going to happen next? The concrete will go hard. Exactly. It will set as hard as rock. Uh, Daddy Pig, I think you should step out of there before... I'll be with you in a moment, Mr Bull. I'm just talking to the children. Yes, but... Uh... You see, the concrete is soft. Still soft. And now, hard. Wow. All thanks to a bit of simple science. Now, Mr. Bull, uh, what was it you were saying? I was trying to say you should get out before the concrete goes hard. Ah. Daddy Pig is stuck. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll have you out in a jiffy. How? I'll dig up the playground. Daddy Pig loves being dug out of concrete. Everyone loves being dug out of concrete. Can I be a mountain leopard, please? No, I can only do fruit. OK, can I be... A plum! There. Pepper is in charge of the lucky dip. Roll up, roll up for your lucky dip. Ooh. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Mr. Bull. You've got a green face. I'm an apple. Ooh, 
Would you like to try the lucky dip? OK. What do I do? Just pull a prize out of the barrel. Everyone a winner. Mr Bull has won a dolly. Can I have a go? Mrs Cat has won a digger. Oh, do you want to swap? No, no thank, thank you. you. Mr Bull and Mrs Cat like their lucky dip prizes. <laughs> <laughs> roll up, roll up. Freddy Fox is in charge of the mummies and daddies race. Thank you. It's all to raise money for a new school roof. I'm quite good at running. <laughs> it's not running, Daddy. It's a sack race. Oh. You have to get in the bag and jump over there. <sniffs> as fast as you can. Right. On your marks, get set, go! Oh! And they've fallen down. Oh. And they're back up again. Hooray! Oh. Oh. Fun, wasn't it? Yes, lots, lots of, of fun. fun. But really, we must thank the children for all their hard work. Thank, thank you, children. children. And we have raised enough money to buy a new school roof. Again. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> ah, holiday. Daddy Pig is up bright and early. I'll just go for a little walk. Ah! Good morning, Mr Pig. I see you have found the swimming pool. This is Signor Goat. It is his job to look after the holiday house. <laughs> Daddy fell in the water. It's not funny. It is quite funny, Daddy. Ho, oh, oh. ho. I suppose it is a bit funny. This is my daughter. Hello, I'm Gabriella Goat. I'm Peppa Pig. Tell us if you need anything at all. We'd like to do some sightseeing. The village is very pretty. I will show you. OK. I'll just change out of these wet clothes. I don't look like a tourist, do I? You look perfect. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then let's go. <laughs> this is Gabriella's village. <laughs> Here is the shop of my auntie. Can I send a postcard? Who is it for? A goldfish. A goldfish? Maybe a postcard of the sea. Yes. Goldie the fish likes water. Bongo drums, carpets, garden gnomes. Who buys all this rubbish? Tourists. Oh, hello. Buongiorno. Mummy Pig is buying lots of things to take home. Mummy Pig, we haven't got room for all this in our suitcase. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. They sell suitcases too. This is the village cafe. Ciao, Gabriela. My uncle makes very good pizza. You eat pizza in Italy? Pizza is Italian food. Oh, goody. I like pizza. A little bit of tomato, a little bit of cheese, into the oven and... Into my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> you have to throw it hard and then it comes back. Allow me to show you, Mr Pig. Are you ready? One, two, three, throw! So, when does it come back? Ah. Keep a good lookout, kids. That boomerang could be anywhere. I think we might have found it. Hello. This is Mr Wallaby. He is the next-door neighbour. Uh, hi, Mr Wallaby. I was, uh, just teaching these kids how to throw a boomerang. Sorry about your window. Well, there's no worries there, mate. What's a broken window between friends? <laughs> Mr Wallaby is a very nice neighbour. Don't let it happen again, though. Thanks. Like I was saying, to throw a boomerang, you need to throw it hard. What? 
Like this? That's it, Daddy! It's coming back! Here she comes! Here she comes! Catch it, Mr Pig! Ah, oh, missed it! <gasps> oh, no! The boomerang has broken another window. Well, <laughs> I think we should be going. Well, you've still got some windows left. Hey, no! You can't leave until I've had a go. Let me show your mates how a boomerang should be thrown. Thanks, Mr Wallaby. Ah, uh, don't mention it. That's what neighbours are for. <laughs> now, the trick is you need to throw the boomerang more upright. Like this. Ooh. Ooh. It's good. It's good. It's a good throw. Here it comes. It's good. It's looking... Oh, no! Someone catch it! Oh, dear. The boomerang has broken another window. So, um, we absolutely must be going now. Do you want any help mending your windows? Ah, uh, no worries, mate. That time it was my fault. Mr Wallaby really is a very nice neighbour. See you later. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> Where have you all been? Ah, just throwing boomerangs, you know. Mr Wallaby's windows have all been We broken. had a great time, didn't we, kids? Yes. Yeah. The best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no, I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush and she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Peppa. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a blackberry bush. And she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um, can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. Yay! Oh, my prince. My princess. Mm -hmm. You were meant to stay in there for a hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. <laughs> Mummy is a black... Berry bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. Stand still while we pick you. <laughs> Here is Mr. Potato. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato. <laughs> Mr. Potato has a big balloon tied to the back of his car. Wow! That must be the biggest balloon in the world. Up, down, up, down, all together now. Mr. Potato is coming to town. <gasps> oh, no! The string has come loose. Ah, my balloon! <coughs> it's OK. I've caught it. Oh, I'm flying away. Help! We have to call the rescue service. <laughs> Miss Rabbit's Rescue Service. Mr Potato's hanging from a balloon. Help! Help! I'll be right there. Wait a moment. I can't go and rescue with all this on. Who wants to be Carnival Queen while I do some rescuing? Me! 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 me. There you go. <laughs> I think I should be the Queen because I am very good at being bossy. I can be bossy too. I should be 
the queen because I am the best at waving. <laughs> Why don't you all take it in turns to be queen? OK, I'll wear the crown. I'll sit on the throne. And I'll wear the cloak. <laughs> help! Help! Miss Rabbit is going to rescue Mr Potato. I'll just fly up from underneath. Ah, watch out! Oh, sorry, Mr Potato. Hang on, I'll go above. Miss Rabbit, what is your plan? I never have a plan. I just make it up as I go along. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Bye! Goodbye. How can we get this balloon down? Shall I pop it? <gasps> no, don't pop the balloon! Oh, OK. I'll untie the knot. Miss Rabbit is going to let the air out of the balloon. Wait, wait! <laughs> Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr Potato. Thank you! Who put that pipe there? I know. I'll take a shortcut. Mm, it's a bit muddy. Come on, car. Daddy Pig needs to get home. Daddy Pig is stuck. I'll ring for Grandad Dog's pickup truck. Hello! Breakdown recovery! I'm stuck in the mud. Can you come and rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm moving a big metal pipe that some maniac has left in the road. I'll pass you on to the next rescue service. Hello? Fire service? I'm stuck in the mud. Can you rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm rescuing a tortoise that stuck up a tree. Calm down, Tiddles. I don't know why you like climbing trees. You're a tortoise. Meh. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll pass you on to the highest rescue service in the land. What's that noise? Whoa! I'm flying! Miss Rabbit's helicopter has rescued Daddy Pig. Hooray! Lucky Daddy gets a helicopter ride after all. <laughs> Shall we show him what my helicopter can do? Yes! yes! It can go straight up. Whoa! It can go straight down. Whoa! It can even move the loop. Everyone likes going up and down and round and round in Miss Rabbit's helicopter. <laughs> find the right big tree. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's usually me that walks into trees. Mummy Pig has found the big tree. Clever Mummy! <laughs> I knew it would still be here. This way, everybody. Are we nearly at the fish pond yet? Almost there. But I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry. There's a cafe on the way. Oh, lovely. I could do with a nice cup of coffee. Can George and I have ice creams, please? <laughs> of course. Ice creams for everyone. The cafe should be just about here. Oh. Where's the cafe? Is it behind that rotten pile of wood? I think that rotten pile of wood is the cafe. Oh. Uh. There's not going to be any ice creams coming out of that today. Hello. What can I get you? Oh. A cup of coffee and three ice creams, please. Of course. Thank you. Mmm. Delicious. Next stop, the fish pond. This way. Oh, you don't want to go that way. That goes straight into a blackberry bush. Aha. It's the shortcut. It's the way I went when I was a boy. No. If you want to go to the fish pond, you need to go up that path. Well, I'm taking the shortcut. All right. Who wants to go through a blackberry bush? Me. And who wants to go on the path? Me. <laughs> Race you, Daddy. Ho, ho. I'll get there first. Bye. I hope 
the fish pond is still here. Yes, everything seems a bit different to what Daddy remembers. What's that? It's the fish pond. George, let's see the little fish. <coughs> oh, Daddy said that the fish were tiny. But they're ginormous. It's been a long time since Daddy was here. The fish have got a lot bigger. Like Daddy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where is Daddy? Oh, he might be lost. I'd better ring him. There's a phone ringing in that bush. Hello, Mr Pig speaking. It's Daddy. Oh, <laughs> hello. I'm stuck. Hello, Daddy. Hang on, we'll pull you out. One, two, three, pull! <laughs> Daddy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the fish pond. Let's see the little fish. Whoa, that's a big fish. Can we see you ski now? Oh, I don't know. Please. Very well. Hoopla. That was amazing. Yes, I was the world champion at skiing and won this cup. Ooh. Now, which Mummy or Daddy would like a go? Why not? Are you sure, Mummy Pig? You haven't skied for years. It's just like riding a bike, Daddy Pig. You never forget. Here is the baby slope, Mummy Pig. I think I'm a bit grown up for the baby slope. Which way does this go? Ah! All the way down the mountain. My mummy is skiing down the mountain. Ah! Where are the brakes? Oh, she can't stop. We have to catch up with her. Ah! Stand back! Mummy Pig is skiing along the road. Ah! Everyone is in the coach, chasing after Mummy Pig. Wow! My mummy is skiing super fast. was fantastic skiing. Mummy Pig is skiing past the shops. Yeah! Ah! How am I going to stop? <laughs> My goodness, a walking, talking snowman. No, it's just my mummy. <laughs> I have never seen such amazing skiing. This cup belongs to you. Thank you. My mummy is the best at skiing down the mountain. <laughs> then the soup. <laughs> and now the tennis racket, please. Thank you. Now watch this. Ooh, wow! <laughs> Daddy Pig has made his own bubble mixture. Come on, everyone! Be careful, Daddy Pig. Don't slip and fall. I'll be fine. Whoa. <laughs> Are you okay, Daddy Pig? Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> wow! Daddy Pig has made the biggest bubble ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I've spilt all my bubble mixture. Now we can't make any more bubbles. <sighs> but we can play jumping in muddy puddles. Look! Daddy Pig's bubble mixture has made a big muddy puddle. Hooray! Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Look! The bubble mixture has made the puddle all bubbly. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy, bubbly puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy, bubbly puddles. <laughs> It's a crab! Ah! The 
crab is pinching Grandpa Pig's finger. Oh! Ouch! Naughty Mr Crab. <laughs> Look, George. Mr Crab is walking sideways. <laughs> George is pretending to be a crab. <laughs> Pepper wants to be a crab too. We're naughty crabs. Pinch, pinch, pinch. <laughs> <laughs> pinch, pinch, pinch! Help! There are two naughty crabs trying to pinch me! Pinch, pinch, pinch! We're naughty crabs! Pinch, pinch, pinch! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Shoo, shoo, shoo! You naughty crabs! Go back to your little rock pools! Yes! Let's look in more rock pools! <laughs> what can you see? A seashell! Can you hear the sea in it? What do you mean? If you put a shell to your ear, you can hear the sea. Wow! I can hear the sea. <laughs> I love my seashell. George, can you find a seashell too? <laughs> shell! That's not a shell. Oh. Pepper's right. That's not a shell. George has found a fossil. What's a fossil? A fossil is the remains of an animal that lived long ago, when there were dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Rock pools are such fun. Yes, they're fun for us. But not for this little fish. A fish? Where? Ooh! Poor little fish. She's trapped. Oh. Oh? The little fish says she wants to go back to the sea. Maybe you could use your bucket to rescue her. Yes! Pepper is rescuing the little fish in her bucket. Don't worry, Mrs Fish. You'll soon be back with your friends. Bye-bye, Mrs Fish. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> George and his friend, Edmund Elephant, are playing with their space toys. <laughs> George is pretending that the bouncy ball is the moon. I was playing with that ball. Oh. Edmund's space toy has landed on Pepper's head. <laughs> <laughs> this looks fun. Are you going to the moon? It's just boring space stuff for babies, Daddy. It's not real. But space is real, Pepper, and there are real rockets that go to the moon. The museum has a show all about the moon. <laughs> Shall we go and see it? Yay! Yay! Will we really have to go to the moon? No, Pepper, we're not going to the moon. We're going to the museum. OK. Here is the museum. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Have you come to see the moon show? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Five tickets, please. There you are. Enjoy your trip to the moon. Oh, we really are going to the moon. No, Peppa. It's just pretend. This way for our trip to the moon. Mr Rabbit is the tour guide. Ooh. Prepare for takeoff. It's just pretend, isn't it? That's right, Peppa. It's just pretend. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! We live on a planet. Does anyone know what it is called? The Earth. That's right. <laughs> I'm a bit of an expert at space things. There are seven other planets that go around our sun. Does anyone know what they are called? Uh... Mercury. Oh, well done, Edmund. Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus. Edmund knows all about space. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> George and his friend, Edmund Elephant, are playing with their space toys. <laughs> 
George is pretending that the bouncy ball is the moon. I was playing with that ball. Oh. Edmund's space toy has landed on Peppa's head. <laughs> <laughs> this looks fun. Are you going to the moon? <laughs> it's just boring space stuff for babies, Daddy. It's not real. But space is real, Pepper, And there are real rockets that go to the moon. The museum has a show all about the moon. <laughs> Shall we go and see it? Yay! Will we really have to go to the moon? No, Pepper. we're not going to the moon. We're going to the museum. OK. Here is the museum. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Have you come to see the moon show? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Five tickets, please. There you are. Enjoy your trip to the moon. Oh, we really are going to the moon. No, Peppa. It's just pretend. This way for our trip to the moon. Mr Rabbit is the tour guide. Ooh. Prepare for takeoff. It's just pretend, isn't it? That's right, Pepper. It's just pretend. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! We live on a planet. Does anyone know what it is called? The Earth. That's right. <laughs> I'm a bit of an expert at space things. There are seven other planets that go around our sun. Does anyone know what they are called? Uh... Mercury. Oh, well done, Edmund. Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus. Edmund knows all about space. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George love playing in the long grass. Daddy Pig is going to read his newspaper. Ah, what a nice day for doing nothing. Daddy Pig loves doing nothing. Oh, goodness me, Daddy Pig. We've let the garden get a bit out of control. What do you mean, Mummy Pig? The grass. It needs cutting. Oh, I quite like it. It's the wild garden look. <laughs> Mummy, Daddy, come and play in the long grass. It's fun. <laughs> OK, let's all play with this spotty ball. <laughs> oh, where's it gone? The ball is lost in the long grass. Now we'll never find it. Hmm, maybe it is time to cut the grass. Yes, Daddy Pig. I'll get the lawnmower. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Daddy Pig has found the lawnmower. It's a bit old and rusty. Nonsense. It'll have the grass cut in no time. It does seem a bit rusty. Maybe I should phone Grandpa Pig and ask if we can borrow his lawnmower. There's no need to phone Grandpa. I just need to push a bit harder. Daddy Pig's lawnmower is not very good. Oh. I know. Let's phone Grandpa. Hello, Grandpa Pig speaking. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Could you help us cut some very long grass? Oh, <laughs> certainly. I'll be over right away. Bye. I think this is a job for Betsy. Grandpa Pig is driving his motor mower over to Peppa's house. <laughs> this is impossible. I don't want to do ice skating anymore. Don't worry, Peppa. Everyone falls over when they ice skate. Even I fall over. Watch this. Oopsie-daisy. Ho, ho. Silly Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> George, would you like to skate? No. George has never ice skated before, and he is a bit worried. I'll look after George while you teach Peppa how to skate. Skating is easy, Peppa. Just push with your feet and glide. Push, push, glide. See? Push, push, glide. Push, 
hope cry. <laughs> this is easy. I can do it on my own now, Mummy. <laughs> push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. Well done, Peppa. <laughs> Look at me. I'm skating. Peppa is doing really well. Yes, I'm a very good teacher. <laughs> Slow down, Peppa. You'll bump into someone. Don't worry, Mummy. I'm very good at skating. Oh, where are the brakes? Oh, dear. I forgot to teach Peppa how to stop. Oh. Ah! I can't stop! Look out! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig taught you how to skate, but I taught you how to fall over. Yes. I'm very good at falling over. <laughs> George, do you want to skate too? No. Come on, George. It's fun. I'll teach you. Hit him. First, you need to... Whee! George, come back. I'm teaching you how to ice skate. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy's football shirt with mud. Oh. Don't worry. We'll just wash it. <laughs> It'll be washed in no time and Daddy won't know it was ever muddy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find some more things to put in the machine. Oh, my dress is a bit muddy. <laughs> Mummy Pig and George have found more things to wash. Very good, George. <laughs> we put the clothes in here and then we switch it on. The washing machine is filling up with hot, soapy water. <laughs> splosh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> the washing machine is making the whole room shake. <laughs> Peppa, where's your dress? I'm washing it. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Look, Mummy. My red dress is all nice and clean. Yes, Peppa. But look what it's done to everything else. Oh, dear. Peppa's red dress has made all the white clothes pink. Pink isn't a very good colour for a football shirt. Ooh. Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. Uh, Daddy Pig, we've got a bit of a problem and, um... <laughs> Tell me later, Mummy Pig. I've got to get ready for football. Now, where's my football shirt? Here. <laughs> Don't be silly, Pepper. That's one of Mummy's dresses. It's pink. No, Daddy. It's your football shirt. It got a bit muddy. So we washed it. And it all went a bit wrong. Sorry, Daddy. Hey, children, we are going to learn about instruments that you shake, rattle and bang. Hooray! First, choose an instrument each from the music room. <laughs> I've got drums. They are called bongo drums, Danny. You bang them with your hands like this. <laughs> I've got a flat bongo drum. That is a boran. It is Irish. You beat it with a little stick like this. I've got a tambourine. Very good, Pedro. You can also shake it like this. Ooh. I've got a big drum. Ah, the bass drum. Meow. I don't know what this is called, but it's scrapey. That candy is called a Kiro, and it comes all the way from South America. Wow. How did it get here? I brought it back from my holiday. What are these? They are maracas. I brought them back from my holiday in Spain. This is a triangle. 
My dad sells these in boxes of ten. Thank you, Freddy. I will remember that. You don't need to go on holiday to get them. Thank you. <coughs> what are these? These are castanets. My dad sells them in boxes of five. Thank you, Freddy. Olé! That is how you play the castanets. Here you are, Emily. Do I have to do the dance? <laughs> no, just make the clickety-clack noise. <laughs> ah, I see Rebecca has cymbals. Yes. <laughs> now you know what your instruments sound like. We can play them all together. Ready? Steady, go! Stop, stop, stop! <laughs> All pottery starts off like that. But it's soft, like play clay. We need it to be soft so we can shape it. But later, it won't be soft. Ooh! Mummy Zebra is making a little cup on the potter's wheel. There. One cup. Wow! <laughs> that looks easy. Would you like to try? Yes, please. <laughs> it's all slimy! <laughs> ah, it's all gone wrong! Making a cup on a potter's wheel is not easy. There is an easier way to make a cup. First, we roll the clay into a long worm like this. It's a wriggly worm! I'm a wiggly worm, I'm a wiggly worm, I'm made of clay, what shall I make today? I'm a wiggly worm. <laughs> we wrap it round and round like this. It's a bit bumpy. Now I smooth it out with my hands and I add a handle. <laughs> it's a cup. Now we have two cups. Yes, but a tea set needs more than two cups. We'll all make cups. Yes. <laughs> dinosaur. George has made a dinosaur. George always makes dinosaurs. Oh, what a scary dinosaur. <laughs> now we need to bake the tea set in a kiln. A kiln is an oven that cooks the clay and makes it hard. The tea set should be ready. Hooray! Now we paint them. <laughs> the children are painting the tea set. Lovely bright colours. toy basket into a volcano. Richard is using toy trees to make a jungle. George has used the building blocks to make a river. Dinosaur! dinosaur. George and Richard have turned the bedroom into dinosaur land. I'm leaving. It's too noisy. I say potato. And I say potato. Potato! Potato! The good thing about rainy days Potato. is we get to watch important TV programs. Potato! 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 Mummy, George and Richard have made the bedroom into dinosaur land. And dinosaur land is very noisy. George has his best friend here, but I've got no one to play with. You could ask Susie Sheep to come over. Susie Sheep is Peppa's best friend. Can Susie really come over now? Let's ring her. <laughs> Hello, Susie Sheep speaking. Susie, it's me. Can you come to my house now? Yes, Peppa. Can I wear my nurse's costume? Yes, but come quickly. <laughs> bye bye, Susie. I'll be back to. Quick, Susie! Pick you up later! <laughs> George, Rich, 
Richard, Nurse Susie is here. And Nurse Susie says this is not dinosaur land, it's a hospital. And a hospital must be clean and tidy. Can we play it? Yes! Oh, oh we haven't heard it for years. <laughs> Takes me back. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Pepper and George. Let's dance. <laughs> 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 Mummy Pig is here to pick up Pepper and George. Hello. Where are you? Mummy Pig can't find anyone. What's that noise? <laughs> No. We've been dancing to Granny and Grandpa's favourite record. Yes. Granny and Grandpa played it all the time. Ooh. And here's the record I used to play when I was a little piggy. What is it? It's called Birdie Birdie Woof Woof. Not Birdie Birdie Woof Woof. You were always playing that. I thought we'd thrown that out ages ago. Ah. <laughs> The birds go woof and the dogs go tweet. Woof, tweet, woof, tweet, woof, woof, woof. <laughs> the sheep go moo and the cows go ba. Moo, ba, woof, tweet, woof, ba, moo, tweet, woof, woof, woof. <laughs> <laughs> again, again. <laughs> the birds go woof, woof and the dogs go tweet. tweet. Woof, tweet, woof, tweet, woof, woof, woof. The sheep go moo and the cows go ba. Moo, ba, woof, tweet, woof, ba. <laughs> that was fun, but we were supposed to be finding some things to throw out. Pepper, what should we throw out and what should we keep? Hmm, I think you should keep everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I know what we can do. We can watch some television. Oh! It won't go on. <laughs> <laughs> the TV needs electricity too. Does it? Yes. yes. Oh, now what are we going to do? In the olden days, when there was no television, children would have to make up their own games. Hmm. I know. <laughs> I need a cardboard box. What is Peppa doing? <laughs> Mummy, will you cut a hole in this box for me? What for? You'll see. Mummy Pig is cutting a hole in the cardboard box. There you are, Pepper. Thank you. Now you all have to sit down there. And George, you have to point this torch at me. <laughs> <laughs> it him. Welcome to Pepper Pig News with me, Pepper Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper has made her own television. Today, the whole world stopped working when there was a power cut and all the electricity was lost. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Peppa. Daddy Pig says that the electricity won't be back for a long, long time. Oh! oh. The electricity is back. Hooray! Shush! I haven't finished yet. Switch the lights off. OK, Peppa. Good. Him. I have some very important news. The Queen has just found some more electricity and says that everyone can now be happy again. Very good, Peppa. Hooray! <laughs> Let's dance! <laughs> Peppa quite enjoyed the power cut, but she's happy the electricity is back again. <laughs> we can do? We can watch some television. Oh, it won't go on. <laughs> <laughs> the TV needs electricity too. Does it? Yes. yes. Oh, now what are we going to do? In the olden days, when there was no television, children would have to make up their own games. Hmm. I know. 
I need a cardboard box. What is Peppa doing? <laughs> Mummy, will you cut a hole in this box for me? What for? You'll see. Mummy Pig is cutting a hole in the cardboard box. There you are, Peppa. Thank you. Now you all have to sit down there. And George, you have to point this torch at me. <laughs> Him. Welcome to Peppa Pig News with me, Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa has made her own television. Today, the whole world stopped working when there was a power cut and all the electricity was lost. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Peppa. Daddy Pig says that the electricity won't be back for a long, long time. Oh! oh. The electricity is back. Hooray! Shush! I haven't finished yet. Switch the lights off. OK, Peppa. Good. Hit him. I have some very important news. The Queen has just found some more electricity and says that everyone can now be happy again. Very good, Peppa. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa quite enjoyed the power cut, but she's happy the electricity is back again. Achoo. George has caught a cold. Achoo. Oh, poor little George. You don't sound well. <coughs> don't worry. I'll ring Dr Brown Bear. Dr Brown Bear speaking. I see. Put George to bed and I'll be straight round. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. Goodbye. Will George be taken to hospital and given medicine? No. George just has to go to bed. Oh, so George is not really properly ill. Ah! Ugh, that's disgusting. <coughs> Poor George. Let's get you straight to bed. George, you have to stay in bed for a bit. No. George does not want to stay in bed. Achoo. George, you have to stay in bed until you are better. Why? Because you have to keep warm. Why? Uh, because Dr Brown Bear says so. Hello. Where's my patient? <gasps> Open wide and say, ah. George is a little bit worried. Hmm, Pepper, you're big and brave. Can you show George how to say, ah? Of course. Ah! <laughs> ah! Hmm, George has caught a cold. Does George need medicine? No, but he can have some nice warm milk at bedtime to help him sleep. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. You're welcome. Goodbye. George has been in bed all day. Now it is Peppa's bedtime. George, are you better? George is not better. <laughs> wait, wait, you Mum and Daddy. <laughs> what? It's much too early. Don't you know what time it is, Peppa? No, Daddy. Our clock doesn't work. Oh, dear. Let's see if we can mend it. Ah, the old cuckoo clock. Why is it called a cuckoo clock? There's a little wooden bird inside called a cuckoo. I've never seen the cuckoo. That's because we stopped winding it a long time ago. The cuckoo got a bit annoying. Oh, can we wind it up again, please? <laughs> All right. Daddy Pig is winding up the cuckoo clock. There. Daddy Pig sets the clock to the right time. It is nearly nine o'clock. Daddy, can we see the cuckoo now? <laughs> You'll see the cuckoo soon. What does she look like, Daddy? Now, let me think. She moves her head like this. <laughs> and she flaps her wings like this. <laughs> and she says, 
See Cuckoo next time. But you'll have to wait. Cuckoo only comes out once an hour. Waiting is boring. Come on, George. Let's play outside. George does not want to play outside. He is waiting to see Cuckoo. It is nearly ten o'clock. George has been waiting for Cuckoo for almost an hour. George, come and play. Mr Dinosaur wants you to play too. <laughs> George has missed Cuckoo again. You know, Daddy Pig must leave the room and we'll make a movie to show him. This way! Daddy Pig has to wait in the kitchen while Mummy Pig, Pepper and George make a secret movie. <laughs> No peeking, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> we all have to do something. George, do you want to go first? <laughs> Are you ready? Can I come in and see the movie? Finished. You can come in now. George has made a movie and so has Pepper. Let's see George's movie first. <laughs> Grrr. George is pretending to be a dinosaur. Grrr. That's a very scary dinosaur. <laughs> oh dear, George is frightened. Don't be frightened, George. That's not a real dinosaur on TV. It's you. Grrr. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> now let's see Peppa's movie. Ho, ho, ho. Who is that meant to be? I am Daddy Pig. Ho, ho, ho. I see. My tummy is very big because I eat a lot of cookies. <laughs> <laughs> My tummy is not big. But it is true that I like cookies. And the more you eat, the bigger your tummy gets. <laughs> <laughs> OK, what's next? This is my sweet little brother, George. <coughs> this is Mummy Pig. <coughs> this is me. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the real Daddy Pig. <laughs> oh, lovely fresh tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. <coughs> First, we have to wash them. Peppa and George help Granny Pig wash the vegetables. <laughs> Maybe that's enough washing. Granny Pig has made the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber into a salad. Grandpa Pig, can you call everyone to lunch? Lunch! <laughs> Granny Pig has made pizza for lunch. And here's some salad. Made with Grandpa's tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Tuck in, everyone. <laughs> George has eaten his pizza, but George does not like the tomatoes or the lettuce or the cucumber. Oh, dear, George. Don't you like the salad? No. George. Just try a little bit of this lovely tomato. Yuck! George, this is cucumber. Grandpa Pig grew it in his garden. Yeah. Try a piece of lettuce, George. It's yummy. <coughs> oh, now, now, George. <coughs> Look what I'm doing. 
Now it's a dinosaur. A dinosaur. <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. George is eating the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Well done, George. Would you like some more, George? Full. George, are you too full to eat any more tomatoes, lettuce or cucumber? George is too full to eat any more. Whoa! Help! Oh! <laughs> what on earth is going on? What a lot of noise! And look at all this mess on the floor. Someone could trip over and hurt themselves. Someone did trip over and hurt themselves. Oh dear. Poor Daddy Pig. <coughs> Come on, children, let's do a bit of tidying up. But, Mummy, we're playing dollies and dinosaurs. You can play again when you've tidied up. But it's all George's mess. Is it really? So this must be one of George's lovely dresses. <gasps> no. <laughs> or maybe some of the mess is mine. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll help George tidy, and Mummy Pig can help Peppa. We can have a race. Girls against boys. Good idea. Let's see who can tidy up first. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> We're winning. No, you're not. <laughs> there. Oh, what's this? Teddy, I've been looking for you. Quick, Pepper, put Teddy in your toy basket. <laughs> there. Now these books. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> what do we have here? Dinosaur. That's right. It's a dinosaur book. It's George's pop-up dinosaur book. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, this is a Brontosaurus. Brontosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And this is a Triceratops. Triceratops. Today is a day for pancakes. Pancakes. Delicious. <laughs> I love pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves pancakes. I'm the expert at flipping the pancakes over. Leave that to me. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? Last time you got a bit grumpy when you dropped the pancake on the floor. I did not get grumpy. There was a problem with the frying pan. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, can we help make the pancakes, please? <coughs> yes, you can help me make the batter. <coughs> First, I put some flour in the bowl. Ooh. Now I add an egg. Now the milk. And I give it all a stir. <coughs> Mummy, can I stir? Yes, of course, Peppa. Peppa loves stirring. George wants to stir as well. <laughs> no, George, like this. <laughs> OK, that's enough stirring. You two sit at the table while I cook the pancakes. <laughs> Mummy Pig is going to flip the pancake over. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> you could flip it higher, Mummy Pig. You can show us how when you flip your own pancake, Daddy Pig. This first pancake is for George. Mummy Pig pours a little syrup on George's pancake. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> this pancake is for Peppa. <laughs> mm, you could flip it higher, Mummy Pig. You will get a chance to show me when you flip your own pancake, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Syrup, please. Mmm, delicious.
Hooray! <laughs> Mummy, can I play the violin? Hold it like this. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> Oh. oh dear, I do not think it is meant to sound like that. <coughs> George wants to try. Hold it like this, George. <coughs> oh, Ooh. that does not sound quite right either. The violin is too hard to play. Pepper, maybe you would do better with this tin drum. <coughs> Thank you, Daddy. That sounds better. Pepper loves playing the drum. Oh, lovely! Yes, it sounds very nice. This is Daddy Pig's old accordion. I used to play this to Mummy Pig when we first met. Oh, Daddy Pig. I remember this tune. <laughs> <laughs> George wants to play the accordion too. Are you sure, George? The accordion is quite difficult. George, the accordion is almost as difficult to play as my drum. <laughs> OK, George. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Maybe George is a bit too little to play the accordion. Daddy, <laughs> what other instruments are in the box? Just this horn. <laughs> Can I try? You have to blow it very hard. That does not sound right. It's impossible. I think I used to be able to play it. That really does not sound right. <laughs> Maybe it just needs someone big and strong like me. <sighs> that does not sound right. Pepper has red spots on her face. Mummy, I don't feel very well. Oh dear, Pepper, you don't look very well. Don't worry, I'll ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. Pepper is not very well. Her face is covered in red spots. Hmm, put Pepper to bed and I'll come straight round. <laughs> Dr. Brown Bear has come to make Pepper better. Hello, Pepper. How are you today? I'm not very well. Stick your tongue out, please. Hmm. It's not anything serious. Pepper has just got a rash. Do I need medicine? The rash will clear up quickly, but if you like, I can give you just a little medicine. Yes, please. I'm afraid it doesn't taste very nice. Open wide, please. Yuck! Disgusting! You are a brave little one for taking it so well. Pepper must stay in bed. I'll call back later to check that she's better. Can Pepper have visitors? Oh, yes, she can have visitors. The rash isn't catching. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Dr. Brown Bear. Bobby, can I get up now? Dr. Brown Bear says that you must stay in bed for a little bit, Pepper. <sighs> But it's so boring. Dr. Brown Bear did say you could have visitors. Can Susie Sheep visit me? Susie Sheep is Pepper's mm. best friend. I'll ring Susie Sheep's mummy. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Pig. <coughs> May Pepper talk with Susie, please? <coughs> Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. I'm not very well. I have red spots on my face. Has the doctor been? Yes, Dr. Brown Bear was here. He said I wasn't very well and that I was very brave. Pepper and George are playing hide and seek. It is George's turn to hide. He must quickly find somewhere to hide before Pepper finishes counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. <laughs> George has Eight. found somewhere to hide. Nine. Just in time. Ten. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come. Pepper has to find where George is hiding. <laughs> found you. 
Peppa has found George. George, I could see you too easily. <laughs> now it is Peppa's turn to hide. One, um, three. I'll help George to count. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. OK, George, open your eyes. George has to find where Peppa is hiding. Oh. Peppa isn't hiding under the table. George? Have you thought of looking upstairs? <laughs> Pepper isn't under the bed. What was that strange noise? Pepper isn't behind the curtain. There is that strange noise again. What can it be? <laughs> George has found where Pepper was hiding. <laughs> Shall we show George how we paint pictures? George is not very good at painting. Well, maybe you could help him. Yes, I'm very good. I will show him how to paint a flower. George, today I'm going to teach you how to paint a flower. <coughs> First, you paint a big circle. No, George, that's the wrong colour. <coughs> now you paint the flower's petals. George, that's the wrong shape. Now you paint the stalk and the leaves. Perfect. George, you have done it all wrong. Now what do we have here? I've painted a flower. That's very good, Peppa. And George has painted a dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> well, brilliant. I think George and Peppa's pictures should go on the wall. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa, you must be very proud of your little brother. Yes, I am. It is home time, and the children's parents are here to pick them up. Can George come next time? Yes, and he can paint us another lovely picture. And what will you paint next time, George? Dinosaur. Grrr. Oh, another dinosaur picture? Well, maybe you can show us all how to paint a dinosaur. <laughs> well, brilliant. <laughs> How does it work? You hold it in front of things and they look bigger. The magnifying glass makes the little fish look big. Can I have a go? Wow! The magnifying glass makes George's eyes look very big. <laughs> <laughs> now what you detectives need is a mystery to solve. Daddy, what's a miss story? A mystery is something detectives are good at sorting out. <laughs> Like finding things that are lost. I know. We can find George's toy dinosaur. <laughs> That's always getting lost. Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr Dinosaur is not lost. Oh. <laughs> what about your glasses, Daddy? You're always losing them. Oh, <laughs> not today. I'm wearing my glasses. It's not fair. There aren't any missed stories. Would you like me to make you a mystery? Yes, please. <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to make a mystery. Now, what's on the table? The little fish, 
Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> That's right. Now look very hard and try to remember them all. The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. Have you remembered them? Yes. <laughs> OK. You just have to go outside for a moment. I'll call you when I'm ready. It sounds like Daddy is going upstairs. And now he is coming down again. All right. You can come back inside now. <laughs> One thing is missing from the table. Do you know what? Mr Dinosaur is there. Little fish, Jack in a box. So who's missing? Um, Teddy! That's right. Teddy's gone. Well done, Pepper and George. I declare this sports centre open. Fantastic. We must all exercise and eat fruit and vegetables. Which one should we eat, Mr Potato? Apples, oranges, carrots, tomatoes. Potatoes? Um... Why aren't you small, like a normal potato? Uh... Because he's not a normal potato. He's got legs. Normal potatoes don't have legs. He's a super potato. <laughs> We watch your show every morning. Very good. And remember to send me your drawings. We will. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we will do drawings for Mr. Potato. Hooray! I'm drawing a pineapple. I'm drawing a carrot. Very good. What are you drawing, Emily? A pea. Lovely. And Pedro? It's a super potato. Oh, I see. And George has drawn a wonderful tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, what vegetable have you drawn? My daddy watching television. Oh, excellent. Now, we put the drawings in an envelope and post them to Mr Potato. It is morning and time for the Mr. Potato Show. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! We posted some drawings to Mr. Potato in an envelope. Did you get the envelope? He can't hear you, Daddy. He's on television. Oh, yes, of course. I've received an envelope full of drawings. This tomato looks very juicy. That's George's picture. <laughs> <laughs> well done, George. But this picture from Peppa Pig is my favourite. Wow! That's my picture. It shows Daddy Pig watching TV. Mmm. Looks like Daddy Pig needs some exercise. Eh? What? Come on, Daddy Pig. Let's do some jumping up and down. Oh, all right. Up, down, up, <laughs> down. down. Shall we do some work on the computer, Granny Pig? Yes. Let's do some numbers and letters. Peppa and her family are having lunch. I've given my old computer to Granny and Grandpa. That's nice. I wonder how they're getting on with it. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. Ah, uh, Peppa, I need to ask a question about the computer. It's Grandpa. He's broken the computer. What's the problem with the computer, Grandpa Pig? It's full of eggs. Eggs? Happy Mrs Chicken won't lay any more eggs. I'm broken. Turn the computer off. Now turn it back on again. Did that fix it? I am very broken. That doesn't sound good. Maybe it can't be mended. We'll come round and pick it up. Granny, we're here to take the computer back. Oh, Grandpa Pig has taken it to his shed. There, that should do it. I am mended. Hooray! <laughs> My grandpa is the best. 
best at mending things. Was it very hard to mend? Not at all. I found I had this book, How Computers Work. So you don't want us to take the computer away now? No, I need it for important work. For letter and number work? <laughs> no, to beat Granny Pig's Happy Mrs Chicken score. I laid 4,020 eggs. Wow! So, I've got some work to do, catching up. <laughs> Are you ready to exercise? Yes, Grumpy Rabbit. <laughs> do we have to do that? No, that's only for big athletes like me. Uh, not for little explorers like you. We're not explorers. I'll make explorers of you, but you... You look like a superhero. Uh, it's just pretend. Pretending? That's good. Right, let's warm up. Everyone, run on the spot. <laughs> and clap your arms. <laughs> now, stretch. Stretch. Wobble like a jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Rest. Now we're all warmed up, we can start. Start what? Your adventure. I want you to pretend that this room is a jungle. It doesn't look like a jungle. Where are the trees? You have to imagine it. The trees, the rain, the fast-flowing river at your feet. Your first adventure is to walk on this beam across the river. Well, that's easy. Ah, but it's night time and it's windy. <sighs> what? That's how it was for me. It was a dark and stormy night. I was on an adventure. Ready? <laughs> but it's not windy or night time. You have to pretend. <sighs> Everyone crosses the Pretend River safely. Hooray! Well done, my little explorers! What's next, Grumpy Rabbit? Your next adventure is to swing across this swamp full of crocodiles. Ah! It is lunchtime for baby Alexander. Cousin Pepper? is going to feed you today, Alexander. Here you are, baby. <coughs> oh, here it is. <coughs> oh, he keeps turning his head. <coughs> Feeding baby Alexander is quite hard. Watch this. Here comes the aeroplane. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Alexander likes it Ooh. if you pretend the spoon is an aeroplane. You have a go, Pepper. Here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> Open your mouth and in through the doors. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> that was an aeroplane. Can you say aeroplane? I told you he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Pepper, do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. <laughs> I thought Peppa's first word was Daddy. No, Mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. Baby Alexander <laughs> is having a bath. <laughs> This is Mr. Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Peppa. <laughs> but he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. <laughs> I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. <laughs> That's a clever little buggy. Yes, five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. 
I'm going to be a nurse. I want to be a doctor. But who's going to be the sick person? George! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and Susie love playing doctors and nurses. So does George. Peppa listens to George's chest. Now, George, take a big breath in, then cough. <gasps> hmm, I think your heart's a bit loose. How about a plaster on it? <laughs> Open wide, please. Susie takes George's temperature. Oh, dear. You're very, very hot. I think you have to stay in bed for three years. <laughs> Daddy Pig has come to find George. Oh, no. What's wrong with George? Don't worry, Daddy. It's only a game. George is our patient. Oh, I see. Can the patient have a visitor? Just for a little while. He might get tired. Cookies! Yes, they're for George. They're his medicine to make him feel better. <laughs> um, excuse me, Doctor. Can you help me? I have a sore tummy. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear him rumbling. I think you're hungry, Daddy. <laughs> then I think I need lots of cookies to make me better. <laughs> <laughs> and me. And me. And me. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>